Galaxy with It's Thea, and this is gonna be my February TBR. So for the month of February, I didn't really know what I wanted to read. I feel like um, I haven't really had anything on my shelves that's really, really been speaking to me. So I wanted to spend the month, I think I wanna spend the month kind of just getting caught up on some backlog titles. So I've got six things here to read, two mangas, two graphic novels, two full novels, and a book I'm currently reading. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The first book for February is a book that I am still currently reading, and that's Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. This I started reading in January, but it's a chunker, and I knew that there was no way I was going to finish it in like the two weeks that I started it, so it would carry over into February. I've had this on my shelf for at least two years. Um, I actually met Diana, and this is a signed copy. My book club is meeting at the end of February to discuss this. Outlander season four just ended. So I have really no much more, um, I really didn't have any more excuses to not pick this up off my shelf, and so I've been slowly reading it, loving it, love the TV show, loved this. I am like 150 pages, I am like 150 pages in or so, and I'm going to slowly be working on this throughout the month. I think I'd also like to go ahead and try to pick up The Girl of Fire and Thorns this month. Um, I've actually had this in the closet with all of my other books that aren't on this shelf. For two years, I think at least, um, I actually met Ray and she signed this copy um, and I bought the entire series, still have not read this. Was thinking about unhauling the series because I hadn't read it, but it was signed and personalized so I figured I would give it a try before I did, so this seemed kind of like the perfect month to try it since I don't really have any requirements to read this month. Um, and I don't really remember what this is about, uh, it says here. Elisa has always felt powerless, useless. Now, on her 16th birthday, she has become the secret wife of a handsome and worldly king, a king who needs her to be the a king who needs her to be the chosen one, not a failure of a princess. And he's not the only one who seeks her. Savage enemies, some seething with dark magic, are hunting her. A daring, determined revolutionary thinks she could save his people, and he looks at her in a way no man has ever looked at her before. Elisa could be everything to those who need her the most. If the prophecy is fulfilled, if she finds the power deep within herself, if she doesn't die again, most of the chosen do. Yeah, I remember like being super intrigued when I heard about this, and so I picked it up a couple years ago, still haven't read it, figured I would give it a try. And if I do like it, I'm gonna continue with the series. Um, if not, I'm gonna unhaul it. So I'm hoping that I really enjoyed this since it is signed um, and I can pick up the rest of the series. Uh, Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett is also on my TBR for this month. Um, this has been on my shelf for a couple years. I bought this a couple years ago because my boyfriend is a huge Terry Pratchett fan. I love Neil Gaiman. This was something that I hadn't read yet. I knew it was I know it's becoming a like mini series I think this year so I figured it was the perfect time to go ahead and pick it up. Um, I've heard it's hilarious. I love Neil Gaiman's writing style. Terry Pratchett is a hilarious writer and it seems like it was going to be the perfect collaboration. Um, if you don't know what this is about, I'll just read the back for you real quick. The world will end on Saturday, next Saturday, just before dinner, according to the nice and accurate prophecies of Agnes Nutter, which the world's only completely accurate book of prophecies written in 1655. The armies of good and evil are amassing and everything appears to be going according to divine plan, except that a somewhat fussy angel and a fast living demon are not actually looking forward to the coming rapture, and someone seems to have misplaced the Antichrist, put New York Times best-selling authors Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett together, and all hell breaks loose. I... This seems like it's going to be a lot of fun, and I know the miniseries is coming out sometime in the near year, um, so it was perfect time to pick this up. I also have Maximum Ride Volume 3 and Maximum Ride Volume 4 by James Patterson on my TBR for this month. Um, this is the manga adaptation of the Maximum Ride series. I really enjoy the manga adaptation. It's a lot of fun. It's very fast paced and the art style is really cute. And with February being such a short month, I figured I wanted to spend, I wanted to read things during the month that was going to be very fast paced. So, um, I'm really excited to dive back into these. This, these are the two most recent volumes that we acquired, and I'm trying to stay on top of my purchases a little more, so I'm going to go ahead and try to pick these up this month as well. I also have the Umbrella Academy Volume 2 Dallas on my TBR for the month. Um, I believe this is 
the most recent volume or three just is coming out soon um this has been on my shelf for at least two years i read the first volume last year it was okay didn't love it didn't hate it but we have had this on our shelf and i would like to have more red things on my shelf so i wanted to pick this up I also heard or saw somewhere recently that I believe this was coming like becoming a Netflix TV show, I believe. So I'd like to be able to be caught up on the story. So I'm going to go ahead and try to pick this up as month. And the last thing I am so excited about. Everyone has read this but me. Everyone loves this. So I'm so excited to finally start this series. So the last thing in the, my TBR for this month is Saga Volume 1 by Brian K. Vaughn. Everyone loves this series. Um, this is actually my roommate's copy. He has the first three volumes. So um, I'm really, really excited to hopefully get caught up on this series this year. I love Brian K. Vaughn's writing style. I really enjoy Paper Girls. The Oath is one of the best Doctor Strange comics. Um, so I'm really excited to dive into this. Everyone loves this. So I am finally excited to get on the saga hype train. So here is my February TBR. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys are reading in February. If you've read any of these, any thoughts, comments, and opinions about them. If you like a review on anything. Um, as always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you like my content, feel free to hit subscribe if not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!